Hey my Cancer friends and welcome to my channel. I am here doing your weekly love reading for, um, it will be August 30th through September 6th. I'm going to go ahead and tip you on down here. Hopefully you can see that okay. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Cancer signs. So let's get started here. Spirit Angels, what messages do you have for our friends in camp? Born under the Sun sign, Moon sign, Rising, and Venus of Cancer. What messages do you have for them in love? All right. Judgment popped out for you guys. So, um, the first card out is always the strongest for um, me. So, you guys have a relationship that is coming back from the past. Um, this is something that is heaven sent. This is something that is meant to be destined. Um, yeah, karmic debts have been paid is what I'm hearing. And this person is um, whoa, coming back for you this week. Holy smokes. And the card that flipped right there was the Ace of Pentacles. Once again, like I was saying, this is heaven sent. Um, you guys have done the work, you have paid the karmic debt, learned the lesson, moved forward, healed successfully, and now here is your gift from the universe, your new beginning, um, in an overwhelming amount of abundance in every area of your life. This is the universe giving you your fresh start, your new start with this person from the past. Two of cups um, in reverse. So at one time, this uh, connection just drained everything out of you. Um, you could be dealing with a water sign or this could be you. But at one point in your guys' life, in your relationship, you guys had to separate. You guys had to walk away from each other um, to do your own emotionally, emotional healing. Oh, and the four of wands just flipped. All right. So um, in your guys' um, separation, you both uh, did what you had to do to heal things from the past, to release any energy that was blocking your space to um, remove any baggage that you had carried forward up to this point. And <clears throat> now that you have done all that, done all the work, here's your gift from the universe, bringing back your soulmate. Um, and, and this is going to form a solid foundation to start on, to build on a new home. I see for some of you, um, but coming into a commitment, a, um, an exclusively dating relationship. Um, for some of you, it's a marriage, but yeah, most, this is just amazing energy. You have the four swords. So you have been resting. You took a step back um, I do see there was like some anger or like resentment when this person left, whether it be you or the other person, but, um, a step back was needed to be taken. Um, so you could see the whole story, the whole truth, the whole, see the, um, situation from a different perspective. Um, and in that it allowed you to complete a cycle. It allowed you to heal in a way that um, that allowed you to shut the door to the past. The past is no longer going to creep up in this relationship and, um, and haunt you. It's, you're putting the past away. You are, um, ending, <clears throat> ending that and starting fresh. You're starting new with this person. Um, you have the Eight of Pentacles here. So working very hard um, to manifest something. Working very hard on yourself. Throwing yourself into work as well. Um, 
because you wanted results. You were tired of sitting there waiting, so you're just doing it yourself. You have the star here. It is in reverse, but um, as I've said many times in my readings, the card is still here. Your wish is still going to be granted. Um, you're still going to get everything that you are hoping for. Um, it's just not time yet. With it in reverse, it's it's just not time for that to come um, to fruition yet. Um, this card is also saying that you need to make sure that you are replenishing your own energy. With the star card, you see she's pouring out two cups or um, two water jugs, but she's giving. She's not receiving anything. So um, be careful of overextending your energy. Be careful of having uh, letting other people take your energy without um, without any exchange back. But uh, so make sure you're taking time for yourself, meditating, grounding yourself, um, because you're about ready to start this whirlwind of a relationship full of blessings. And you need to be, uh, you know, your energy needs to be vibrating at the highest level. The Six of Pentacles. I, was, <laughs> I love when my angels do that. Um, so just kind of saying what I was with this card. Make sure you are giving an even exchange of energy. Giving as much as you're receiving. Receiving as much as you're giving. Or it's going to throw you out of balance. I do see karma being dealt with. So your karmic scales are balanced. Just make sure your energy exchange is at a balance too. Princess of Wands. So um, you're waiting for a fire sign to come forward. You're waiting to hear some, some kind of news from this fire sign um, individual. This person could be kind of immaturely uh, making plans. To move forward without really having uh, a plan to go with it, uh, if that makes any sense. The Four of Cups in reverse. You guys uh, were blocking your heart for quite a long time. Uh, you didn't want to let anybody in because you were hurt. You were saving um, what you had left to give for this person that you were in separation from. Um, you were constantly thinking about this person to the point where you couldn't pay attention to anybody else, but you are coming out of that um, energy of blocking your heart. You are opening up and allowing this person to come back this week. And temperance. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What a way to end the reading. So here you are. You are no longer pouring the jugs out with the star. You have the temperance card and even give and take of energy, the never ending balanced flow of give and take, the merging of two souls, the marrying of two, um, two souls. This, um, for you cancers, you are uh, most definitely, this is a twin flame soulmate connection. You have judgment, the four of wands, and temperance, and the world. When I have those four together with the star to boot, um, you most definitely are reconnecting with a twin flame. Uh, your bottom of the deck, I wasn't even looking until just now, is the ace of cups. Emotional, um, new beginning. You are, um, you are getting the gift of love. They are most definitely coming back. And then with the Ace of Pentacles, uh, there isn't a card in this reading, well, maybe two of them, that I don't associate with Twin Flame Soulmate. So most definitely a big shift in energy. You do have your Twin Flame or Soulmate coming back to you. Um, it may not be time for full union yet because the star is here in reverse. But um, they are here. They are coming back. They are returning to your energy. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, a Taurus, a Leo, or Aquarius. You know what? All the signs are here, actually. Yeah. 
all the signs are here, but the temperance card um, as the last card really sealed the deal for me. This is most definitely um, a divine connection that is coming to fruition. What does Cancer need to know for this week? Whoa. All right. The card that just flew out. Trust. So this situation is calling for you to have faith. Um, it's most definitely calling for you to trust um, your intuition about this person. You know who this person is. You know who I'm talking about um, because you felt that connection from day one. Um, trust the universe that they're going to put this person back in your path. Trust your journey. Have faith that it's all coming together because it is most definitely. Um, yeah. So, so very beautiful cancer. I'm so happy for you guys. You have an exciting week coming. Um, and things are going to speed up for you. You've been waiting for quite some time. Um, but the wait is almost over because this is going to come in very quickly, very successfully and, uh, and make you very, very happy. So, um, Cancer, I hope you guys have a beautiful week. As always, I send you love, light, and may God bless your path.